Hello, this is Kathy Dice and coming to you with the Budgeties broadcast. I'm still here in DC and this is the second day. This is my second day recap of what's been going on at the Goldman Sachs 10,000 Small Business um, Summit, which is where we're trying to make small big. And today we're making small big through education. And the education started with Michael Bloomberg talking about the meager starts for his business and how no one believed in him and no one even understood what he was trying to do and um, how well it turned out. So he was encouraging us to persevere no matter what the obstacles we might have. Then the founder of Dry Bar talked to us about starting her business, which was a huge success. They actually have a product line as well as a um, the different um, locations. She told us that it tended that the stores that they own themselves didn't do as well as the ones that were licensed because having someone right there really did make a difference. And from then, Gwyneth Paltrow spoke and about Goop. And she talked about work-life balance. And what I learned from Gwyneth is that um, there is no such thing. She believes it's a myth. And um, what she does is she just tries to live in the moment, do one thing at a time, which I could really learn from. And um, if things need to be rebalanced, she does that on occasion. Um, next, we were fortunate to have Adam Grant talk to us. He's a Wharton instructor, and he talked about organizational development. And he talked about the myth of um, how you can brainstorm over Zoom, or you can brainstorm as a group. It really doesn't work. You need to get everyone's ideas out individually and then pick the best ones as a group after that. Um, then came Emma Gard. Well, I was really blown away by Emma. Emma started um, a, um, a clothing manufacturer that just broke all of the molds. She decided that she was going to um, provide a jean to every woman of any size all together. So it wasn't separate departments. And I really believe that she has, um, and she's been hugely successful um, in doing this. Um, boy, I forget the name of her company. I think it's Make America, America. Anyway, watch for her. I mean, it's really amazing. I looked at her website, it's great. Um, then Warren Buffett shared with us his uh, report card from ninth grade where typing was his best subject and certainly English and a lot of the other ones that you'd expect uh, were not so hot. Um, and I can really identify with Warren because certainly um, high school and college weren't all that easy for me either. George Bush was the closing remarks and he, he really stole the show. He is hysterical. Everyone loved him. He told us tomorrow when we meet with legislatures to be kind to them. They're just people too. Um, and he is incredibly optimistic because he sees small businesses as something that really is makes a difference here in the United States. And, um, and it's true. Did you know that 75% of all employment is due to small businesses? So just think about it. Today, the big themes were family. I can say that every single speaker talked about the importance of their family to what they did. And um, so I'm going to have to be doing a lot more with my family. Um, and the other thing was the ability to spend a full day with these entrepreneurs who are ridiculously energetic, happy, um, friendly. It's just been a joy to be with them all day. They are very special and we're, I feel so grateful to be here and grateful to Goldman Sachs for, for, for for the Goldman Sachs program to begin with, but then for making this event possible. So tomorrow we're with our legislators. There's supposed to be 300 of them. Um, and we're going to the national stadium and I will let you know how it went. So thanks so much and um, see you tomorrow.